Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. I'm doing this poem as part of a contest, so you're gonna watch me live as I go through my thoughts as I'm coding. Uh, there'll be an explanation near the end, and for more context, there'll be a link below on the actual screencast of the contest. Uh, how did you do? Let me know how you do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and here we go. Um, and Q4, form largest integer with digits that add up to target. So this one I knew right off the bat after reading a little bit. Uh, that it was just dynamic programming, I could keep track of the max, um, and generally speaking, I would, um, uh, yeah, it, in a general sense, you would probably use a path reconstruction to keep track of the last digit that you use at each node, and then uh, go backwards to construct the path that you took. Um, yeah, and that's what I was thinking about, um, but I was like, eh, there's only 5,000 digits, Python, digit, uh, Python is pretty fast. Let me just use big int in Python numbers because uh, it's only 5,000 digits, but uh, it's, you know, it's only 500 integers or something like that. So I, I was kind of risking it, to be honest, but, uh, but I knew that I was also, right now at this moment, uh, pretty fast. So I was like, let's, 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 let's give it a go and then, you know, let's risk it for maybe, you know, a good uh, finish. Um, in terms of not doing the path reconstruction and just do it forwards and store it on each node. Um, and that's pretty much all I needed to get started. This is a relatively standard dynamic program problem, and the idea is that for the recursion is that for each target, it is just the max of taking one, each of those digits, uh, one of those digits, and then adding it to the, uh, or, or subtracting it from the target. Uh, depending on how, which way, you, which direction you go, I guess. But, but that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, and I, I think I'm still a little bit thinking a lot, a little bit on whether this is fast enough uh, at this point. Hi. But yeah, but now this is actually pretty str straightforward dynamic programming. Uh, and honestly, even though I got this in about eight minutes, I should have gotten it faster, even not in not counting the mistake that you'll see me do pretty soon. Um, Yeah, I've just, it's been a while since I wrote this dynamic programming, I guess. So, uh, so I've been a little bit slow, but I really should have gotten this faster considering I didn't have to do path reconstruction, which everyone else probably did. Uh, but I was, oh yeah, I was here. I was thinking whether it should be nine or 10. And I was like, I don't know. Uh, but I was like, yeah. This, this code doesn't really make sense, but. I think I was still I was focused a lot on the recursion, um, and not. To, I think I, I I mean for the most part to be honest, during this problem I was just worried about the running time and that caused the penalty that you see, um, and it was just a big lapse because it's not a hard thing, uh, and I think for me the biggest problem for this problem was the running time, so I was like okay, let's. Um, Let's see how long it takes for the the worst case, and this should be the worst case. Um, but, but yeah, and I think because of this, um, I did not. But this uh, this is just so silly. I should have gotten this. Um, but yeah, I, I counted the nine ones. I one code, 
so right now my focus was just on running time for some reason, uh, like for the reason that makes sense. And then as soon as I looked at the answer, I was like, I only looked at the last an, uh, output, hmm. and then I was like, oh, wait, that is not right. This is this plus one. Yeah, still not right, clearly. So definitely, uh, just wasn't practiced enough, I think. This is pretty sh straightforward uh, for a lot of, for someone who is practiced, this should be uh, a five minute problem, especially if I don't have to do the path reconstruction. Uh, but I think I've definitely watched it a little bit, even if it doesn't seem like it. Uh, and And yeah, and at this point, I think the pending test also kind of got me a little bit because because uh, it kind of threw me off. And as soon as I saw the last answer, I was like, oh, that's good. Let me submit. Uh, I was going to do something about to check the length. But I was like, yeah, OK, let's go. Uh, that should be OK. Uh, whatever, let's just submit. And then as soon as I hit that, I was like, oh, no. Wait, I didn't look at the other answers. Um, uh, and I was like, oh, what silly mistake. Um, I made a mistake. Uh, I yeah, and that, that was like the first test case. So like, really should have gotten that one, um, especially since, yeah, I would have been second in this contest. So that's not a, <laughs> that's terrible. Uh, what a, it's really not clutch. And I was like, oh, yeah, you just it's just that uh, for this one. So what happened was that I didn't keep track of uh, of the fact that um, that so basically I did. What happened was that I did target uh, or less than so. target instead of target strictly, and that's the difference. Um, and also, I, don't, I think I didn't handle well. I, I think I handled it not reasonable, but um, also I have a typo here. But but that's pretty much the on, only thing is that um, I did uh, less I, than I went or to equal to target, target I instead of was focused exactly on exactly target time, because I didn't I keep track of one other thing with the data programming. Anyway. Uh, and and that cost me, you know, uh, from whatever, yeah. uh, from drop yeah. from second place to what you'll find out later at the end of the video, because I don't think it's finished updating anyway. But yeah, but thanks for watching. I pretty much that's all. I refresh. I was like, oh, finished. only oh, one person really finished. Fast. So I actually had time for this, and it's still waiting pending. So so the system testing was also a little bit slow. Um, I double checked the answer this time, and then that's it. Hang out the other Larry. Bye-bye. <laughs>
and then you just these costs, you just uh, go backwards counting uh, what's the biggest number that you can get. Uh, if you have to do path construction, I would ha have to do some tracking. Uh, I would have to check. I would have to track which digit uh, was the prior digit that we added for this one, and then we do a path reconstruction. Uh, but I didn't have to do that because I well I was gambling a little bit on running time. Uh, that's why I I did what I did. Uh, but then I watched it because I was just so excited about getting it right uh, or getting the running time to be fast enough that I uh, submitted a little bit prematurely uh, without looking at the test. And as soon as I submit, I'm like, wait, I didn't actually look at the test because I was so excited um, that, you know, when I saw the test, I was like, oh, this is obvious. And or like obvious that it was incorrect and also obvious to fix because I knew how to fix. Well, I knew how to solve the problem in general. It's just that, um, yeah, it's just that I uh, rushed it a bit. So, and because I was really thinking that I had a good chance of uh, placing really highly. So yeah, that's all I have for this problem. Uh, but yeah, if you have trouble with this, this is actually relatively straightforward in terms of dynamic programming. The only tough part is the path, con path reconstruction part. Um, and I urge that you just take a look at the path reconstruction uh, at somewhere and, and you could, you know, figure out how to get the prior digit one digit at a time. And that's how you get the path reconstruction.